Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm a technical adoption specialist with Data3, and this is a short video as part of a series that's going to demonstrate how we deliver end user training for M365 Copilot. Data3 were lucky enough to be on the early access program for Copilot, which means we've had months of experience now getting to understand what Copilot is, and more importantly, how we can train your staff to get the most out of this new technology in the shortest amount of time. So that being said, let's jump in and take a look. In this section, we'll take a look at a high level overview of what M365 Copilot is and how it actually works. In essence, M365 Copilot is a marriage between an AI powered large language model, such as ChatGPT4, with your company data. This allows you to automate language heavy work, such as content creation, research, editing, etc., all the while knowing that none of your company data is being shared externally. At a technical level, this is how M365 Copilot works. So M365 Copilot works by the user putting in a prompt from an M365 application such as Word, PowerPoint, Teams, Excel, Outlook, etc. This prompt goes to Copilot, which first runs it through a process called grounding. So what it does, it looks through Microsoft Graph, which is, which is essentially a collection of all the data that you have access to in your organization. So it uses this information to build context for your request, and it looks for data that you might be referencing in your prompt. Once it has this idea of what data that you're looking for, and more importantly, what data that you have access to, it sends your prompt and the data over to the large language model for processing. So the large language model looks at what you're saying, tries to do its best to understand exactly what you're asking, and then using that information and your company data, it comes up with a response, and it sends this response back to Graph. So this second grounding is to make sure that the response it's providing you contains information that you are supposed to have access to, and more importantly, it pulls in all the data that it thinks that you might be talking about, once it's finished this second grounding, it then sends it back to Copilot, which then sends it back to the application in the form of a response. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that short snippet on how we deliver Copilot training here at Data3. If you're interested and would like to learn more, please follow the link or scan this QR code and we'd love to help your staff get the most out of M365 Copilot in the shortest amount of time.